Um, what do you want to start with? I mean, Western Sun's very easy drinking. Western Low, Sun? Lower proof. Uh, we just got, we, you're the new proof queen, according to Dustin. Go ahead. All right, let me talk there. about Western Sun yes. a little bit. These guys are out of Texas. They make primarily make um, vodka. And we got wind that they actually had some whiskey, so we pestered our distributor until they finally sent us some. And we're, as far as we know, we're the first and only ones to get it outside the state of Texas. So you can find it in Texas, but it's hard to find elsewhere. So we're real, pl- real proud to have this as a spillway exclusive in Mississippi for sure. So Smokey says it's in Pilot Point, Texas. What do you think? Have you had it, Smokey? What do you think about it? And let's see. We are 90 proof on this on this one. That's decent. I mean, it's it's young. Seems to be. Texas whiskey always tastes like the desert to me. It does, and so I, but it that makes me think it's even younger than I think it is because it's got some of those oak tannins starting to come through, but they're subtle. So I think it's extremely young. What do you think? Have you you had it before? Oh, I've had it. I love okay. it. I mean, I've, I've had a couple bottles at the house before. That's pretty good. That's yeah, pretty it's good. soft, easy drinking. So if you like that Texas flavor profile, but you want it subtle, that's a pretty good start right there. Yeah, it's sweeter than a... So let's... What, what do you want to try next? Anything? You want to keep drinking this? We got... So let, let's go through what we've got here, okay? We've got... Cherry Wood Single Barrel Crittenton's a cut above. So tell me a little bit about that bottle. All right, so this is another one of these um, Crittenton's exclusives. Crittenton's is out of Kiln, Mississippi. Uh, Matt Crittenton pretty much has makes runs a distillery by himself. He makes distil- makes his own whiskey. His mom helps him out. He's got a um, a couple helpers around his um, distillery in Kiln, but he's the first ever guy to make bottled and bond whiskey. Out of uh, out of Mississippi, bottled and bond bourbon, and we've been able to work with him and create our own, basically our own concoctions. So this is your just like you, it, it just twist off. Yeah. It looked like it had a little tab. And so this is yours. Like you, well, y'all work with yeah, him to make this. We with him. He doesn't have a um, a group of distillers to try his um, you know barrel finishes. So. We've been that for him. Yeah. Um, us and, uh, and the Mississippi Sippers. We got Spillway Wine and Spirits, and then we have a consumer group that works with us called the Mississippi Sippers that work real closely with us, and they've gone down there and helped us with these. We've done the pecan wood, Mississippi pecan wood um, finish, and then this is our second finish that we've done exclusively with, the, with him, and it's a cherry wood finish. So we're basically taking a stave of cherry wood and charring it, and then basically finishing a barrel with it. So this is interesting, this cherry wood. What does that taste like? It just is so familiar to me. Cherry wood. I mean, (laughs) Jill's over there being a smart ass. It it has ripe cherry flavors to me. I mean, like it's It does, but like an interesting kind of, like it's almost like a rye spice on it too, though. Like it tastes like a really, really high rye bourbon. So it is his rye, high rye recipe. Okay. And I don't know if I have enough nut light back here to 72 corn, 17% rye, 13% barley. I don't know. Did that, did my math come out? It, I, it's good enough. Yeah. I can't yeah, read I it. Can't read now it. you see how dark it is, right? It's yeah, dark yeah, back it's here. It's dark. On the other well, side the of the light, lights. The lights on the, yeah, on the other side of the um, lights. Oh yeah. With the Crittenton, we were just talking about Crittentons yeah. and I didn't, I didn't update on their picks. Uh, the Crittenden's picks, I'm hoping, are available early October. Like, we, he had to do the paperwork to get them to a place that could ship because, you know, I don't want to do them if we can't ship them to y'all. And so that was done the first of last month, and it takes 60 days before we can actually start shipping bottles. Now, I don't know if he could ship them and they'd be there on the first to sell or if he has to wait to the first to ship them, but they will be available, the four grain, the forgotten four grain, and the... Um, the rye, rum finished rye from Crittenton's will be available next month for sure. Absolutely. I, I want this to taste like cherry. So I don't know if it's in my no, head. No, it does. It does. I don't know if it's in my head, but. It has and, some cherry flavor. And I'll sure. also, we, 
The first barrel, we did a um, PX sherry finish with this, with, with Crittenden, and then we reused the PX sherry barrel for the pecan wood, and now this is the third run of that PX sherry barrel. So you get to use that PX sherry, it's gonna leach some of the flavor and it gets less and less as it goes. So yeah. we're getting more and more of the finish and less of the PX, but you're, it's gonna be in there, you know? So you will get a little bit of the PX sherry. That's definitely it. I like it. I like that. I, you know, I'm a little iffy on finished whiskeys, but I the know. ones I like are typically double oaked, right? It's gonna be like the toasted pecan's good, the Woodford double oaked, a toasted barrel, and this being a cherry wood kind of fits into that mm -hmm. double oaked category. You like that one? Yeah, that's, that's I a good whiskey. You would. That's, that's interesting. Do, you definitely, yeah, yeah it's definitely rye. rye. I don't know yeah. if they can hear Jill over there, but she's definitely getting the rye too. So, yeah. Um, how much is the Four Roses? Do you know? I mean, if you don't know, who knows? <laughs> that would have been a good. That'd be good knowledge to know. I bet you Justin will pop up here in a second and let me know. Y'all look for I Justin forget. in the chat as to what that barrel pick is going to cost on Friday. It, it, it did go up, guys. I mean, in the whole marketplace, these these barrel picks have gone up this year. So, and uh, you will not. Uh, they, it's a liquor store. They can't in Mississippi, so they can't ship those. Ninety nine ninety nine is what Justin said. So it will be a hundred dollars. With, for a four, four Roses Barrel Proof OESF. Jill needs a mic. And this I agree, one, but I only have two. And this one is 58.1%, and it is 11 years and three months. 11 years old. That definitely makes it a little... I'm trying to... I think the ones I have are like 9 or 10... We're about to find out, Scoot, if it's going to be a great bottle. We're going to find out. And then we're going to get on some of this Blanton shaming over here. What tier is the Four Roses? They that, did not have a tier six of... That one was a three, if I recall correctly. No, it's... Is that... Like, normally it's the letter in front of the... Two. Is it two? I thought it was the first letter. I'm trying to look and see. Help me out. Here again... Yeah. Justin or Bobby will ring in and give me some information. I thought this was a tier four when we did it, um, but I could be. And you guys watch the video, tier two. There you go, Justin. Yeah, 16 2A. So I guess That's the, the two, two is the yeah. tier. Okay. So tier two, but we tried a bunch of them. They gave us 10 samples on that, and that was the best out of all of them. And some of them were higher tier. What do you think? Uh, we did pick the oldest one, though, if you recall. And, I mean, we did pick the 11-year-old. Well, we, we had it down to two, and we liked the one that just had a little more oak. God, that is so good. That though. is delicious. That Like, no no knock in that Crittenden's. That Crittenden's is good, but Lord have mercy. Mm -hmm. A Four Roses barrel strength. And, and uh, I mean, I've already had it with an ice cube. I, I always... I say that I sample them when I have them straight, but I get to know them when I drop an ice cube on it, and it gets to... Temper it and mellow it. It's it's so oh man, it's so it just stick, it just like it just runs down the glass like a motor oil. Mm. That's a good bottle. If y'all haven't had like four roses in general, I really like the single barrels. I really like, but the barrel proof stuff is just exceptional. It's where it's at. I don't need a pair of reading glasses, Jeff. <laughs> I just need I need to hire a reader. Then I don't have to worry about it. It's like, read this. What does this say? I'm going to have somebody follow me around with good eyes. Like, young people need jobs. They're having a hard time. I can just hire some young person with good eyes, follow me around, just say, read this. In my state stores, you used to do Four Roses Pick. Then enough stores complained, and now the distributor does a few picks and decides what store gets what, but it's never more than a few bottles at one store. What state is that, Van? Uh, sounds terrible. Yeah, it sounds awful. Um, I want to say I tried a Greenbrier somewhere, but I have not. Um, I, I don't know. It sounds familiar. Do out of Nashville. Yeah, so may, maybe I have it. Maybe I have it. Um, yeah, Four Roses. I don't know about over anything. I'm not sure I'm going to do Four Roses pick over anything, Russell, but it's over a lot for sure. All right, grab a Glenn. You're going to do the review. Here, you get to make, no, you're having it. 
You're gonna make. I'm gonna go to the restroom. You're gonna. You're gonna entertain. Oh, wow. them. You're gonna keep them entertained. Jill, That's what you're gonna do? Jill, Jill, come over here. Jill, Jill, Jill you wanna try this? People. Jill, come over here. Take this come floor. On. Try this. I'm gonna. I'm. I gotta pee. So you're gonna have this, Jill. Hit, hit me in the leg if I say something stupid. I don't want to get you canceled. Here, take this. Things were all going fine until you left Josh on the screen by himself. <laughs> and then we got canceled. Thomas has to mm. take a potty break. All right. I'm not going to throw away that George T. Stag. This is my favorite. You too. I know. I'm excited about this. You guys talk about how it's your favorite. It is my absolute favorite. <sighs> oh, weeders are so delicious. This is definitely delicious. I mean, I, I, I was an old Forester fan. I still mm. am an old Forester fan. But before I drank lots of whiskey for a living, I... <laughs> I drank Old Forester at home. This is so good. And I say that, guys, because Old Forester is the most commonly found weeded whiskey. This being the best weeded whiskey yeah. on earth. I don't think it's commonly found. Golly, no. <laughs> We've been nursing this bottle for years now. It's what? 134.5 proof. I couldn't tell now. But it I mean, doesn't. Well, I mean, I haven't had any. I've had that little bit that you gave me earlier, but I, it really does not drink for me that high. Well, I mean, it's definitely high, but not like. After all of this, I'm breathing fire. So, I mean, it's like <laughs> I'm water. Sure. Yes, Big J Rock. I will definitely pick the William LaRue over Frey Ranch. I love my Frey Ranch, but yeah, you can't like, there's no way to pick Frey Ranch over this. This is just so and good. And Frey Ranch will send her as many cases of Frey Ranch as she wanted. Well, so, I mean. They will not. They have not. They will not send they us. Want, like, I haven't even heard about our barrel picks. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. But William LaRue Weller, I mean, you only get what you Do get. We need to let him try our Frey Ranch, like the, the pick. Yeah, I'm interested. Yeah. I hear about Maybe it. Maybe on the patron stream. Okay. She tapped. She just tapped me in the leg, didn't she? She, just, she, she, tapped, she tapped me in the leg. <laughs> I think I, I, I need to take uh, TJ's legs out. His legs are done. No, not Coy Hill. Uh, no, I think I think mm. I think we're good, guys. Coy Hill would be the closer. It's the <laughs> yeah. the only one you could taste right now. Like, what do you think of that? that oh gosh. Oh, bro, it's that's so good. So damn delicious. It's the best whiskey. Yeah, ever I think so. Yeah. yeah. I mean. Not a fair, I mean. No. No, don't don't compare it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, but compare I, it to every, everything. Not but while you were gone, I, I fessed up that Maker's Mark was my my pick for, like, my daily drinker before I had a liquor store and drank way too much whiskey. Oh, God. So, so, so he, I'm, he just, I'm partial to a weeder. He discredited himself completely. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm partial mm. to a weeder, and this is obviously the best weeder oh, in the world. It is. It is so good. All right. Come on back, Thomas. Jill's out. Oh, I don't goodness. think Old Forester makes a weeder, Alex. <laughs> Alec. But, my, I mean, like, my Old Forester barrel pick at, at my store is really my favorite barrel pick I've done yet. Maybe he's talking about OnlyFans. Ah. Which OnlyFans is weeded? I have no clue. <laughs> don't subscribe to any of them. Where, hey, which one of these did you pour that WLW into? Uh, oh, you took it with you. <laughs> 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 I thought she had left me some. <laughs> she took uh, it with her. No, I don't Lord think, I have mercy. You won't be able to taste it anyway. Not, don't, I, have don't a bruisal, I have a bruisal Glen Karen here that you can find. <laughs> Jill just said I can't taste it anyway. Readily available. That's enough. That's enough. They, like we gotta on the Bruisal website. I do have another one of those coming, but like we gotta be like we gotta take it easy on that bottle for sure. Yeah, like like I said. Oh god, that's so, it's so good. good. That's so good. 
That's like, a oh, Jesus Christ. There's so it's many. Good, fair. There, it's not fair. It it's is not fair. not fair. So I love, like, the Pappy 15 is really good, but we like the proof. And this is like Pappy with the proof. Like, this is an aged Pappy with the proof to support it. And, I mean, that George T. Stag was really good until... Yeah, until you have that. I yeah, mean, for sure. like, oh, the George T. Stag's good. When you start... The Eagle Rare... Se- you've had a 17 Eagle yeah, Rare. Yeah, it's delicious. God, good. Delicious. Yeah. Good stuff. Ah. Uh, I wish I didn't drink all this crap. I mean, we should have just sat here and drank this the whole night. Um, so, Jolly... Jolly Rogi? Jolly Raji? I'm assuming it's got to be Jolly Raji. Are you going to finish all that poured whiskey? And the answer is very simple, and it is no. I am going to fill it. finish the William LaRue Weller, and I will finish the George T. Stagg. Smokey sent in a let them go to waste. Smokey sent in a ten dollar super chat for Pedialyte and Tylenol. There, <laughs> Jill. We're good. I'm good. I'm good. I'll be up at eight o'clock in the morning. Just so the we. If y'all don't know, we have a lot of construction going on. That's the reason, like the backdrop is now green. Um, they were supposed to be here this morning at eight, and they were outside at seven, just hanging out. So I'll be good at seven. I'll be good. Monday night football just turned? What does that mean? It just turned. Throw it in. Th- like, at some point, we probably need... Like, here's the thing. We're, we're thinking about bringing a barrel here for bottles we don't like. But, like, pouring, like, pours you've half drank. We get a bunch of pours and people saliva. And I don't know if that's an environment I want to, like, like, work in, Right. I mean, maybe that's just a separate, separate infinity. But, we have know. a different barrel for like, hey, this has spit and whiskey in it. And maybe a little herpes. I mean, you know, some, some fever blisters <laughs> depends on going what, on there. Depends on what kind of people we invite <laughs> over, um, for sure. Tied 1313 Monday Night Football. Where's Spillway located? Give the spill, man. Spillway. <clears throat> Excuse me. Choking on this. So we're at Brandon, Mississippi. Um, please come see us. I, I wish I could ship all this to you, but the great state of Mississippi does not provide for that. But we are there. We are always available. 10 a.m., 10 p.m., six days a week. So come on by, Brandon, Mississippi. Plan it on your trip. We're at the corner of I-55 and I-20. I mean, this bottle is not, it's not, you can't just walk into a liquor store and get it, but this is not unobtainium. I, I see these moderately frequently um, with the, you know, with bourbon hunting. All right, so Four Roses, they, a yellow label Four Roses has 10 recipes in it. And in what proportion, what ratio, nobody knows except Mr. Four Roses. <laughs> Mr. But Four Roses. when we... When we go to pick a Four Roses pick, if you see the video, we only get to sample one of each of the 10 recipes. So we're picking the best one that we're presented for the day, not necessarily the best OESF. This, we only got to taste one OESF. So a store owner only gets to pick the best one available at that time. So they vary. I mean, last year we got an OESK. This is an OESF. I mean... We would love to get the full lineup, but sometimes you're going to get an older, older one from a different, different recipe. Yeah. 